The Rise of Rafael Nadal to Tennis Stardom Rafael Nadal, in full Rafael Nadal Pereira, by name Rafa Nadal, born on June 3rd in 1986 in Manacor, Mallorca, Spain, is a Spanish tennis player who emerged in the early 21st century as one of the game's leading competitors, especially noted for his performance on clay. When Rafael Nadal made his maiden appearance at a Grand Slam event at Wimbledon in 2003, he was just three weeks past his 17th birthday. He hadn't yet cultivated the pirate pants and muscle shirts look, and even his coach and uncle Tony Nadal looked baby-faced. But if you close your eyes and listen to clips from the match, the sound of him laboring to annihilate forehands sounds just as it does today. Welcome to Life of Fame, where we discuss the sensational moments of world icons. Today, we'll be talking about one of tennis's number one, Rafael Nadal. Before we begin, do smash that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to receive notifications when we post new videos like this one. There was an undercurrent of excitement in the air on that day, June 23, 2003, when young Nadal took the court against the 19-year-old Croat Mario Anchik. He was perhaps the most hyped teenage talent since Born Borg, and his fans were, as The Guardian put it at the time, hanging off the stairways trying to catch a glimpse of him. Nadal missed Roland Garros that season due to an elbow injury and had a full three-day experience playing on grass coming into the match. So how did a precocious kid from an island in the Balearic Sea rise to win more majors than anyone in the history of the sport? The foundation of Nadal's success begins and ends with his family and the values they instilled in him, says Manolo Poyan, a Spanish broadcaster who has followed Rafa's career since he was 17 years old, calling many of his matches for the Eurosport television network. He was taught to be humble, to show respect, and to work hard, said Poyan. Nadal, who officially turned professional in 2001, had appeared in only one Grand Slam tournament as a junior competitor when he reached the semifinals at the 2002 Wimbledon Championships. He began his professional career in earnest the next year, breaking into the top 50 in the world. In 2004, he played a crucial role in Spain's defeat of the United States in the Davis Cup Final, toppling Andy Roddick, then number two in the world. In a four-set opening day singles clash, Nadal became the youngest player at 18 years and six months old in the history of the international team competition to win a singles match for a victorious country. Driving his forehand with a devastatingly potent heavy topspin and covering the court with electricity, Nadal quickly became one of the top players on the Association of Tennis Professionals, or ATP, tour. He also developed a rivalry with world number one, Roger Federer. In 2005, Nadal set a record for a teenage male player by registering 11 tournament victories, including a triumph at his French Open, Roland Garros, debut, when he upset Federer in the semifinals. The next year, Nadal secured five more titles on the ATP Tour, including his second straight French Open win, this time besting Federer in the final. He also reached his first final on the grass at Wimbledon before falling to Federer. Driving his forehand with a devastatingly potent heavy topspin and covering the court with electricity, Nadal quickly became one of the top players on the association of the Tennis Professionals Tour, or ATP Tour. In 2007, Nadal extended his victories on clay surfaces to a record 81 consecutive matches before losing to Federer on May 20th in the final of the ATP Master Series Hamburg in Germany. After bouncing back to win his third title at Roland Garros, Nadal lost to Federer in a grueling five-set Wimbledon final lasting three hours and 45 minutes. The two met once again in the 2008 French Open final, where Nadal overpowered Federer to win his fourth straight tournament title, tying Born Borg's record for consecutive French Open wins. Nadal and Federer met in a third consecutive Wimbledon final in 2008. This time, Nadal won his fifth career Grand Slam title in a five-set match lasting four hours and 48 minutes, then the longest men's single final in Wimbledon history and thus became the first man since Borg in 1980 to collect both the French Open and the Wimbledon title in the same year. In August 2008, Nadal won the men's singles gold medal at the Olympic Games in Beijing, and he took over the number one world ranking from Federer in the same month. In 2009, Nadal won his first Australian Open championship after he again bested Federer in a dramatic five-set final match. 
He set a record for consecutive wins at the French Open the following May, which was then broken at 31 when Nadal was upset in the fourth round of the tournament. At the end of the 2009 tennis season, Nadal helped Spain sweep the Czech Republic in the Davis Cup final. His dominance of the French Open returned in 2010 when he easily won the event for the fifth time in his career, which he followed by winning his second Wimbledon title in July of that year. In September, he won his first U.S. Open and thus completed a career Grand Slam by having won all four of the Slam's component tournaments. In 2011, Nadal captured his sixth career French Open title, besting Federer in the final. After losing the next three consecutive Grand Slam finals to Novak Djokovic, Nadal reversed course and defeated Djokovic in the 2012 French Open final to break Borg's record for the men's French Open singles championships. He added another French title in 2013, becoming the first man to win the same Grand Slam singles event eight times. Later that year, he captured a second career U.S. Open singles championship. In 2014, he won a ninth French Open championship. Nadal was plagued by injuries throughout the remainder of the 2014 season, and he struggled to recover his form in 2015. During that year, he failed to win a Grand Slam title, ending his record streak of having captured at least one major tournament in 10 straight years. His best performance at a Grand Slam in 2016 was just a fourth round elimination at the US Open. But Nadal gained a measure of redemption by capturing his second career Olympic gold medal at the Rio de Janeiro Games. He advanced to his first Grand Slam final in three years at the 2017 Australian Open, when he lost a thrilling five-set match to Federer. Nadal ended his Grand Slam title drought when he won a 10th career French Open championship in June of 2017. Three months later, he won his third U.S. Open singles title. At the 2018 Australian Open, Nadal was forced to withdraw in the quarterfinals because of an injury, but he recovered in time to claim another French Open championship, which was his 17th Grand Slam title. After losing the Australian Open final in 2019, Nadal continued his dominance at Roland Garros that year by capturing his 12th career French Open singles championship. He later won the 2019 U.S. Open singles title, which was his 19th career Grand Slam championship, the second most for men behind Federer's 20 titles. The following year, he tied Federer when he won his 13th French Open title. After losing in the semifinals of the French Open in 2021, Nadal missed most of the year's remaining tournaments, including Wimbledon in the U.S. Open because of a foot injury. He entered the 2022 Australian Open with low expectations, but he stunned many observers by overcoming a two-set deficit to defeat Russia's Daniil Medvedev in the final and claim his 21st Grand Slam title. Some four months later, Nadal won his 14th career French Open championship. When he won Roland Garros for the 11th, 12th, and 13th times in 2018 through 2020, Nadal set an unprecedented record that seemed untouchable. Now, with his second Australian Open title, he becomes the most decorated Grand Slam champion with 21 major titles. He is a long way from his Wimbledon debut in 2003, but still looking formidable at 35, Nadal also seems a long way from being done with the record books. That's all for now. Let Rafael Nadal's story inspire you to greatness and share your thoughts of the video in the comments section below. Please subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon to receive new updates, and we hope to see you in a next video. Stay safe!